Alright, so the next step to my automation will be the pure daisy and making the living rock and stuff. So let's put these away for now. I'll be needing them later on. Actually, the gold pipe I'll need. Wait, where did I... Okay, there's the other 63 of it. Right, so first of all, we're gonna make a 3x3 three three area. Um, let's go around in a circle from this direction. So we're gonna start off with this. Yeah, I know I'm wasting some glowstone there, but to be honest, it's one of the one of the main resources now that I can easily get. Uh, you, come here. Okay, oh, I'm on 23 <laughs> percent. I gotta watch that. All right, and now I'm gonna. Where did I put those things? Okay, so we got block places and block breakers. So the places, which way do they face when I place them? Uh, actually, wait, wrong way. I need the, like, I want the breakers on the ground. So they face the direction. Okay, all good. Do, do, do. Right, and we're going to be putting a piece of dirt in the middle. Or grass or whatever. I think I'll just grab a piece of grass. Place it with dirt. Where's... Where's dirt? Should have just a bit of dirt somewhere. Okay, come in. Back up. I'll have to f be able to farm some uh, grass. It's a commodity up here. Boop, boop. Alright, so breakers in there. Okay, we're gonna put the grass with the pure daisy in the middle. Right. And there there. More up. Okay, so, and then, what we need to do is put a chest here. And we're going to need to put a chest up here as well. And I do believe I had a transfer node around here somewhere. Transfer node, pseudo thingy. Uh, I need a cover. Where's my transfer pipes? Uh, actually, yeah, that's right. I cannot use them. Uh, let me put these against there. Alright, so I put this repeater facing upwards. I'm gonna make it face up. Oh, wrong one. 
go and out. I'm not too sure which way he goes. Anyway, so we gotta go out around these. Cool, I think that'll work nicely. And now for the test, let's go and put some stone in there. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Boop. Okay, so it broke and then it placed. Beautiful. Okay, hopefully it will switch these around with the correct timing, so I gotta watch for this. Um yeah, particles coming out, beautiful. Bingo. Okay, and underneath here, we have the chest I can't access. <sighs> um, I need to put one of the other ones here. Either way, it works. Okay, so uh, the other chest, so the slightly larger chest. Okay, got it going. Uh, back here, I've tried to make everything a little bit hidden. So you can't really see it from this view, um, even with these gone. All you see is just a living wood pillar going up, a living rock pillar going up. Um, I've just requested some logs, so let's see if that work. Doesn't seem to have sent the logs. Where's the logs? Okay, living wood. Draft. Ten of those request. Request successful. <laughs> um. I'm starting to get worried. There we go, logs in there. Okay, and we're gonna have to wait a minute for this to happen. Eh, screw it. <sighs> okay, what am I to do now? Now that I've automated living rook, wood and rock perfectly, I could set that up on a uh, active provider and you know keep a certain amount in the system that way I don't I'm not waiting for that all the time okay so I got that got that now to automate mana now mana I have to do a little bit of running around for, for starters I need grass Ugh, a lot of grass okay so what I what have I got for endo flames okay Beautiful, 23 of them. That's that's pretty good. What I need is a lot more of these mana spreaders. And for that, I need a lot of living wood. But I ran out of dirt. Either way, uh, that is more than enough to get my endo flames that I currently have going. So I have to put the endo flames right next to the floating one I want to do and yeah it's not working lag geez that is not a that's not any kind of endorsement for using these Ugh. unless it means like mana lag as in frames whenever it shoots it out from the mana spreader um do -do 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 -do. There we go, 23 floating endo flames. Uh, it's a bit of a penny ass to make these ones. I need food. I got baked potatoes. Now, how am I supposed to go about this? Mike, is the 
it is my main source of power. So I'm thinking of putting it in the middle here. Alright, so this chest is in the middle. If I go out this way. Okay, let's just put put one down here. Okay, and I think this is the middle here. Yep. Right, so if I put one there, there, and there. Alright. And we're gonna put it so it f they fill up that area. One more, because they can suck up from a three by three by three area. But one thing I have to do before I complete this. Okay, so I'm just gonna map out where they're going because I, I hate binding all these you sometimes miss one I want to use mana spreaders to uh, be able to reach everything okay so that is Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, five, six, seven. Okay, leave that open there. Okay, leave each of these sides open, actually. And actually, let's keep you there. Okay, and I want the mana spreaders inside of here. So, to make the mana spreaders... I'm gonna need a lot of living wood. So, living... To craft... Four of those... That's weird, because I've... Asked for a lot of it. I haven't used them for anything, so what's going on? Maybe it takes longer? Or maybe it's not sucking out the items. Got a living rock in there. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It would be in... Yeah. Okay. So, to make the mana spreaders... Okay, so we've got the mana spreaders in here. Mystical white flower, gold... Easy. So I'm going to need gold, at, ah, I'm going to have to make a little area where I can do the floral thing, keep on getting the flowers, uh, actually wait, up, It looks off, because I got all that in the corner. It just looks a bit off. <sighs> Alright, and now for one of the things that I enjoy doing, the automation of this. So I'm going to fill this up till it heaps high. But until then, I have to set up a way of getting the mana. So first of all, we're gonna. Oh. Hey guys, so uh, I've gone and set up the mana thing. It was long and boring, so I didn't bother recording it. But the general idea is that I got these four mana pylons here, and uh, they don't look like much now. But I plan on 
extending them up quite a bit, so up to here, around about the top of this. And uh, I, don't, I don't think it's pumping out enough coal to keep these running. I'm like, this one's not even shooting out stuff. Anyway, so that's going into the mana distributor, which is going out into all these mana pools. And the whole idea behind this contraption is that when there's no item there, it'll spit out another item. Which is what I like about it. I also got it set up for a timer, but it didn't seem like it was going fast enough, even on the lowest setting. So that's fine. Uh, over here, I've got the mana distributor, and this is going to be like my mana bank right there. Uh, now to think of what I'm doing with the uh, stuff. So I, what I need to do now is... Do I have the living rock? Yes, I have a living rock to quickly make another mana pool and this one is going to be auto crafting one so let's get the guys back in there because i always need more mana spreaders at the moment right so the auto crafting one let's put you over here and we're going to put you on a little dais so to speak Or not, so to speak. I'm going to need another one of those vacuum chests underneath it, eh? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to be doing this... No, I, I don't need that, actually. It's just one item at a time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just got to set it up so it automatically outputs and that it can't, can't output unless there's enough mana to do something. Alright, so what we're going to do is grab you and you're going to point over to here. Hopefully you can send. Beautiful. And it's sending from two pools, so... Uh, I don't know if that keeps these... If the mana distributor keeps these all even constantly, or not. It doesn't seem like there's much mana in this. What about you? Have you has all the mana gone to here? Or are these storing up all the mana for now? Nah. Uh, they're full of mana, so should be receiving the mana from down here. You're full. Oh. Oh. Eh. Rud. What that means is that I'm producing enough mana for this... For these four not to keep up. Um, hmm. Have to... Let's set these up in a little bit of a diagonal so more mana spreaders can't wait to get the elven ones that's the ones I need I reckon that actually looks pretty good it looks circular I think I'll leave it like that okay and by replacing them, that automatically links them to one of these. So that one's linked to that one, that one's linked to that one. This one is still linked to something that doesn't exist. Uh, these are all linked to one. Why are you... No, no. You link to that. You link to that. You link to that. You link to that. Okay, uh, just to make sure I got this going right. So what I've got here is basically just a setup with a open crate going into a mana pool. The vacuum chest is just whitelisted for the correct items. And then it pulls it out down here with the satellite up there. Now the trick to it is I wanted it to also be able to say, hey, there's not, there's no mana in here. So um, what I've done is just added some gates that um, stop the hopper if the... Um, if there's no mana in there. So I've got to set it up for the mana powder. Okay, so we're going to go craft and I'm going to say 10 of those and see what happens. So this shouldn't take long. There we go. Yep. 
Beautiful. It pulled it out and everything, and it went straight in there. Beautiful. Aiming on target. Ugh. Okay. Now I just have to load, like, mana, steel, and stuff like that in there. And I'll have that set. Then I'll be able to move on to the runic altar. Okay, which I'll do another one of these setups on top of there. Um, how am I doing with... Uh, ooh, nice mana pools. Nice mana pools. How come this one's filling up more than... Maybe the mana spreader's pulling from this mana pool more than the other ones. I don't know. All I know is that this one's filling up. Okay, I need more of these endo flames. And more mana spreaders. I think nana. Nah, um I know I don't know, it depends. Okay, either way I've got this mostly automated. I think that's all for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Next time we'll be working on the Runic Altar. Okay? Bye bye.